I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Libra, in the recent past, we have the Page of Wands. Now with this card, people would have been warm, ambitious, and usually high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it indicates the energy, the energy of easy distraction. Easy distraction. So you would have needed to try to stay focused at that time. This card indicates that things that you started some time ago, they were starting to come to life, starting to come to fruition. It could also show that there was a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. Keep in mind, the page brings us positive energy, but we would have had to supply the follow through, the follow up to um, get any positive outcome. The page of wands is paired with the chariot card. Now the chariot card, it indicates that there's a lot of energy, but it's not, it's not free for all energy. It's directed, controlled, and has a goal in mind. When this card appears, you're probably likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involved and what you were willing to do to make them come to life. Overall, this card, it points to determination and ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should or you should have moved forward with whatever you had in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot at that time. Remember, you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order for you to fully be successful at whatever your attempts were in the recent past. Okay, so that's the recent past and we're gonna move on to the present. We have the justice card. Now this card, it deals about, it, this card, it deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions. Sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of someone you care about. Now this can sometimes be as difficult and demanding as it is when you're up against your own karma. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily if this happens, okay? If you are directly involved in a court case, it's likely to, re to be resolved, at least in a large degree in your favor. That's a justice card, and we'll move on to the Two of Swords. It's paired with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships are more than likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you are being treated as an equal by your partners. If you are not, you, if you are not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. This will almost certainly require open communication on your part. Nothing will change without effort. With these two cards paired together, the justice card, it's about karma, the law of cause and effect. Things coming back to you, okay? Uh, whatever you put out, Whatever you put on to people, it's coming back to you, okay, at this time, and it's paired with the Two of Swords. Partnerships, friendships, romantic situations, they're all going well. Okay, um, but it's about balance. Uh, bringing things back into balance, it's going to require communication. 
So what, whatever is coming back to you from your actions, from karma, um, you're going to have to balance certain situations out, okay, just to um, bring things back to normal. And it's going to require communication, okay? Keep in mind, nothing will change if you don't put in any effort with any situation or matter that's coming back to you dealing with karma. And that's with... Um, those two cards paired together, the two of swords and justice. And that's the present. Now let's move on to the to the challenge. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is another one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. This card it points to happiness uh, overall. Perhaps in a more mature, grown up kind of way, as opposed to the more personal wish fulfillments that are promised by the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family life uh, and to the overall well-being that goes way beyond you yourself to include those you're most concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, children, etc. Being spiritually fulfilled is also a part of the picture. This is a good card to see, regardless of any question. That's a Ten of Cups, and it's paired with the Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords can point to someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life, whether you... Well, if you're prying, you could be prying into someone's life, or someone could be doing that to you. And it's where you or them, they don't belong. If you sense someone is spying on you, you could be right. If you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, and it's not your children or a child who has given you cause for concern, you're going to want to resist that impulse because everyone deserves privacy. With these two cards paired together, the Ten of Cups, happy life, happy family, happy situation, happy overall you could be um, being you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time also it's an excellent card to see to have in a reading everyone wants uh, the ten of cups and it's paired with the seven of swords um, even though it's a happy overall situation with the ten of cups um, someone could be crying into your life where they don't belong or you could be doing this to someone it could be someone you know or someone you don't know um, that's the only thing that uh, that would be opposite of the ten of cups so with every good thing there's something something that we're not so uh, crazy about so it's just a situation it's paired with a great time with the Ten of Cups, but just um, be a little caution, or cautious, be a little cautious about uh, your surroundings. At this time, people will probably notice that your your things are going well for you. You might have someone trying to spy in and see why is everything so perfect over there. <laughs> So that it could be something as simple as that. Someone trying to figure out why is why is everything so great? Why you know why can't my life be like that? So someone's just checking on you to see see what happened. You know why 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 do you seem so happy? Uh, what's what's going on over there? Your nosy neighbors or something like that. So that could be that situation, and that's going to be the challenge. You just have to deal with uh, someone trying to figure out what's going on with you and your great situation. So we're going to move on to the outcome. We have the Two of Pentacles. Now the main issue with this card at front in your mind. There's two main issues at front in your mind. Two, that's how they call it, the Two of Pentacles. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is, is not, it is not your friend right now. You may need to cut down on things you are doing in order to focus on your two 
main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. Be sure that you are paying attention there. Pinnacles is about money. Okay, so that's why they that's why it's indicating financial situation may need to be more balanced. Pay attention to that area. The two of pinnacles is paired with the moon card. With this card, the moon card, you're definitely in a more psychic and intuitive phase than than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears in your reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts if you are waiting on an answer from someone. It may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. You're going to have to try to stay patient at this time. With these two cards paired together, the two of pinnacles, two main issues. Multitasking is not your friend. Okay, try to pull back from doing so many things. Cut down on so many things in order to focus on your two main priorities. Okay, finances may need to be balanced. It's paired with the moon card. You're more than feeling psychic and intuitive at this time. Uh, it's not that you're going to have to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful you. It's going to be helpful for you to realize that if, that everything you see is not what what it seems. If you feel you can't trust someone, then you probably cannot. Okay, so when you're dealing with the Two of Pinnacles, your finances and um, trying to cut down on so many things uh, so you can balance out your situation, uh, if there's someone helping you, um, you may feel like you cannot trust them, okay, or you're dealing with someone that you cannot trust or you feel like they cannot be trusted. So it's saying to go with your gut instincts, especially with the two of pinnacles, you're dealing with money matters. Like I said, pinnacles are, it's about money. So um, if you're counting your funds, you're counting your dividends, then uh, you might want to just keep your, um, your business to yourself, okay? Because um, you're, you're just, it says that you might be having some intuition that something's not quite right. Um, maybe when you're balancing out your funds, um, just double check it to see if you were overcharged or um, anything crazy was going on. So that's gonna be the outcome. So Libra, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.